All right, brief video update. Um, wanted to uh, update on a riser mod I did on this new Lowrider ST. Um, I am in beautiful Mendocino County. Uh, rode up here yesterday, put about another 150 miles on the bike. Great ride. Uh, before I did that, I um, swapped the risers on the Lowrider. Um, ST. I kept the uh, stock handlebar um, and I put on, I swapped the five inch something risers for the six and a half inch pullbacks from Thrashing uh, with the M8 uh, gauge included um, in the top clamp. Um, nice looking piece. I've had their risers before um, on a different bike. They're nice and, and sturdy. Uh, I would say they're fairly expensive um, compared to, to most risers. Um, I've always had the taller ones, the nine inches pullback. The nine inch pullback is what I had before, uh, but these are six and a half. Um, and again, a direct swap uh, with no uh, cable swaps necessary, no extensions necessary for the Lowrider ST. So as you can see, um, the problem with the, uh, we've addressed on, on previous videos with the um, having to lean too far forward. Um, I think, it, you know, even with just the inch, inch and a half, whatever that this pulls back, uh, it's, it actually seems to be a lot better. So, um, I also think, you know, aesthetically, um, you know, it, it looks a lot better. Um, just then the stock handlebar puts it up a little bit higher, um, uh, more realistic, uh, and comfortable riding position. Um, I had a great ride up here. Um, it was very fun. I felt very in control of the bike much more like what I'm used to. Um, so in general, I wanna give, uh, um, you know, this this uh, this uh, upgrade, this swap, I mean, gets a, a an A plus for me. I mean, it's excellent. I think later on, I will swap out the stock handlebar, um, which kind of reminds me of like, like a sporty bar, um, the, the old sporty bars. Um, at the, the angle that they're at. I'm gonna swap it for um, their Thrashing high bend bar, which I already have. Um, I don't have cable extensions, etc. that it's gonna take to do that. Um, I, I will say this, um, on the install, if you guys are looking to do this direct swap, um, the only thing I really had to do is probably bend the brake line a little bit um, at the, the junction down here and then also bend the angle here just a bit uh it's fine it works fine um but this that that helps with the install you, you've got room um the clutch cable was all good and then also the um uh the wires were were fine there was some some room there to to pull so um it, it all looks good it all fits good um and it was very easy to swap. You know, it takes five, 10 minutes and then you, you know, adjust your angle on the, on the controls and stuff like that. So um, yeah, any questions, any comments, just leave them in the comments section and uh, I'm gonna go ride some more.